Yo, Dre. Yeah. Tell this class about the cell cycle. Should I go off the sheet or? Dude, you're a bio major. Do it freestyle. Alright. Don't forget plant animal cells have different cycles for mitosis. Class, cells split in two different ways, mitosis and meiosis. I'm going to start with mitosis and then explain meiosis. In interphase, cell cytoplasm wants to double and scientists are in trouble cause microscopes can't tell the difference in this tangled mass called chromatin. A double nuclear membrane houses a nucleus, with nucleoli present too, it's a double bliss. Chromatin now condenses to chromosomes. After rays start to appear, chromosomes move here. Centrioles move to opposite poles, but in plant cells there are no centrioles. The mitotic spindle begins to form, just like the shape of the hammock in my dorm. Chromatids now align at the equatorial plate. They're just chromosomes attached to the hip, so don't hate. Spindle fibers are there to hold them steady. Anaphase is next, and I think we're ready. In anaphase, the chromosomes want to migrate. The centromeres of each chromosome begin to separate. We're left to two times the number of chromosomes during metaphase. The spindle now pulls without delays. Chromatids ship to the opposite poles of the cell. I don't like saying goodbye, but this one's a happy farewell. The nuclear membrane makes its appearance. Nucleoli reappear. Yo, it's legit coherent. Now in cytokinesis, it's time for the cytoplasm to divide. Each cell gets about half the materials and organelles in their stride. But in a plant cell, this process is a little different. Membrane vesicles form in the metaphase plate and come together to form the cell plate, dividing two daughter cells. Chicka chicka! News of that. Cellulose is then laid down on both sides of the plate to form walls between two new cells. Yeah, that's my update. Cells length until they are as big as the parent cell. See you back in meiosis. Ding goes the school bell. So if you thought talking was the issue, I'm gonna rap about anything, especially this issue. Mitosis and meiosis are pretty much the same. Both have cytokinesis, which occurs during telophase. Both use spindle fibers to separate chromatids. I hope you're understanding the vision I'm trying to portray. Eukaryotic cells are where these cycles give way. I know mitosis and meiosis are similar, so I'm here to explain how they differ. I know these tricky cycles may leave some clueless, but I'm here to show you how we really do this. The first thing you need to know is that meiosis occurs within gamete cells. Yeah. By the time you hear the next bell, you're going to understand what happens in these sex cells. These gametes are generated in fours, a core of four daughter cells, purposely created and developed in order to excel. These gametes reside within a diploid of chromosomes, trying to keep them from being exposed. The mother cell divides leaving four daughter cells to survive. These daughter cells have a haploid of chromosomes. This process may leave you weary in the dome. Next, through a process called fertilization, a diploid of chromosomes is created. The next organism is free to develop. This concept cannot be debated. This material is related, and my goal is to translate it. In meiosis, one homologous chromosome separate. During the S phase, DNA duplicates. Meiosis, two sister chromatids separate. And unfortunately, we do not see DNA replicate. The prophase ones operate different functions. In meiosis, the chromosomes pair without my function. Chromatids break off and reattach to a new chromosome donor. This occurrence is better known as crossing over. Gametes are responsible for traits a human has. Good and bad. If crossing over did not occur, we would all just look like our moms and dads. Lastly, in anaphase 2, centromeres split like new. This allows time for the split of four cells instead of two cells. I hope I've provided a root of knowledge that needed my guidance. If you have any questions, feel free to embrace our connection. Dre and Lukas, we out. Now class, remember, mitosis is important for growth to take place, genetic stability, cell regeneration and replacement, and asexual reproduction. Also, meiosis increases genetic variation, which leads to more adaptability in environments. You start out with one diploid cell and end up with four haploid daughter cells. Does everyone understand?